Do I kick us off? Of course, thank you. Good evening. Uh, Franco, Kyle, just <laughs> sum up how this feels for you guys and what you've achieved tonight for both yourself and for Scottish Rugby as a whole. Um, no, it's it's a fantastic feeling. I mean, it's winning is is is, is, is a great feeling, and yeah, you know, maybe all all my, my enthusiasm is different than the two players next to me. So um, yeah, but uh, really grateful and thankful. And, uh, I'm a religious person, and I'm really thankful that for the grace um, today and this whole season. You know, again, we left the field without an injury, and I'm really proud of that. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just really proud of the boys, really proud of the group. Um, really proud of the group that's not here as well. You know, we, we had to leave boys behind um to come and get this job done this week, but boys that have contributed a hell of a lot to, to our season this year. Um and just everyone at Glasgow Warriors and everyone in the community as a whole. Like um just really thankful for the support and the way they've they've got behind us this year. Um and yeah, can't wait to can't wait to see them all when we get back. As we've seen all season, I guess, last weekend and again tonight, you guys had to really dig in. It was a really gritty performance. That must give you a lot of pride. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think the way the first 40 went, um, you know, I think we would have taken 13, seven and a half time. Um, but again, like you say, um, you know, I'm just really proud of the forwards, especially, um, you know, the, the defensive effort they put up front, the way that no matter what was thrown at us and, you know, credit to the Bulls, they they fired a lot of shots in that, in that first 40 and, and towards the end. But um, yeah, our big men, their physicality, the way they stayed calm and the way they um, yeah kept us in the game was, was unreal. Congratulations, guys. Enjoy it. Just to say, just I think it's off camera, but Matt Davis is also here, guys. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just realize he's off camera here. Uh, David, if you want to go, Dave Barnes. Hi, Franco. Congratulations, guys. Um, Franco, can I just ask you? I mean, where do, I know you're a, a modest man. Where does this rate in terms of your coaching achievements? No, this is an important competition. You know, um, uh, it's it's class to win in different countries and travel the way we did this week to come out, out here and. I know the pride in the stadium, played here before, so that right stop, I'm perfectly um, convinced that it will be hard to beat this game. And, and you're, you're always a man with a plan. Is this, you know, when you came in, you know, at the beginning of last season, is, are you ahead of where you, where you where you plan to be, or is this kind of where, where, you, where you expect to be at this stage? Yeah, I think it's definitely where we expect it to be, but this tonight was an important ingredient. Um, we always talk about uh, an hard edge to Scottish rugby players, and I think tonight the boys proved that just that. You know, to come here and play South African team on their home soil in front of 52,000 supporters and then still win in the way we did, um, you know, is a special, special accolade to the to the men. So, yeah, we've 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 gone leaps and bounds. Um, we've, we've we've grown leaps and bounds, but. Um, again, this the sensation and what we've achieved tonight will be an important ingredient going forward. And a quick one for Matt. Uh, congratulations, man of the match tonight, Matt. I can just about see you over the microphones. Um, I mean, you've I mean, it's been a long, hard season from the World Cup. But you seem to have kind of hit. You know, you you are you playing as well as you ever have, and, and why is that after a ten month season? Um, yeah, like it's been it's been a quality season in general. Yeah, an up and down Six Nations with Scotland, but. I think, you know, every time, especially after a campaign, we come back in, Frank was brilliant at, you know, reinvigorating the boys, coming back from international rugby to, to come back into the team and, and, you know, bring that energy. And, um, yeah, we had some great games in Europe. And then, you know, the last four games probably sums up the entire season in terms of, you know, the way the boys have fought and they've trained and they've, um, you know, not not used the travel as an excuse, whatever it may be. Um, and personally, yeah, it's been, it's been a pleasure to be a part of and, um, you know, when you're playing with your mates and then such an enjoyable group, I think that brings out your best. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Uh, Graham B. Hi, Franco. Um, you've really had to do it the hard way this season, having to go to to Munster in the semi-final and then go to South Africa at short notice and and, and win over win over there. What does that say about the the character of the team? Oh, obviously, I'm really proud. You know. I think it's more of what you guys are going to say about the team. It's important. So now from my perspective, fantastic. They've um, reacted very well. You know, we've used disappointment in our favour. We've learned lessons. So we had a saying during the season that we don't have to lose to learn. And they've embraced that uh, mentality. And, and they're pushing the, the, the limits and the, the boundaries and parameters that, that, that that's expected at this level. So um, obviously really um, proud of the way they went about the business. 
tonight in the way that they've brought into a plan. And I re honestly think, um, you know, this is just a start, hopefully, and we can, you know, keep on progressing. Brilliant. And Kyle, tell us about these goggles. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so my, my dad and my, my brother are doing the security for us um, and we've been on a couple of ski holidays back home and I don't know, it's become a kind of you know, a thing across rugby celebrations that you need goggles to protect yourself from all the champagne spray. So my brother, without uh, letting us know, packed a couple of the pairs and then um, when we came into the change room tonight, he had them waiting. So um, yeah, myself and Sione and a couple of the boys have got them on. Brilliant, thank you. Congratulations, guys. And also, Gav Harper. Hi guys, congratulations. Um, Matt, can you just sum up what this means to, to have won this trophy alongside Xander? Um, yeah, I think it means uh, it means absolutely everything. Like I grew up at school um, <laughs> watching Xander progress into the professional ranks and um, I've watched him grow into arguably one of the best players in the world and you know the work he puts in, um, the eight minute shifts he's done in the last three weeks are just are beyond ex exceptional and yeah, to win it with him, to do it for our family and our um, our partners and kids and stuff back home is, um, yeah, it's hard to put into words. And Kyle, just how much of a, a springboard can this be? We've talked about, you know, the mentality being an issue for Scottish teams, for the national team. How much of a springboard can this be, not only for Glasgow, but, but for Scotland as well? Um, yeah, look, I think I think it can be huge. Um, I think looking at it from a Glasgow perspective, you know, this is, Franco talks about that hard edge and, you know, I think that's something we've kind of been searching for and working towards as a group, um, you know, particularly over the last 12 months. And um, there's just something about it that, you know, this, you can't, you can't really get it until, until you've done it, if, if that makes any sense. And I, th I think sort of the belief that, you know, particularly our forwards have shown up front and, and giving us that hard edge over the last three weeks, um, I think that gives us a lot of belief going forward. So. Ryan Wilson talked during the week on his podcast about, joining the celebrations has he sorted out a plan for you yet yeah absolutely look um i absolutely love having will see you know he made a plan to get over here with the urc he's still one of us um <coughs> you know, we still love him and he's still one of the boys so he's, he's in and amongst it he's wearing a, a white linen shirt that um that already doesn't look so white so i'm um, really chuffed that he's out here with us and, and can share and can share this with us he's been a massive part of this group over the last over the last two years great stuff thanks guys uh, callum crow yeah, congratulations, guys. Just a question for Franco. It's, it's obviously been a, a long, hard season where a lot of the guys have been in camp for the best part of a year, going back to the sort of pre-World Cup times last year. Are you, are you going to give them some scope to let their hair down tonight and celebrate? Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, yes. You know, I think there's a perception, there's a wrong perception of me in the media. That, um, no, we, we, apart from working hard, there's, um, there's no... no is there's no, of course, yes. This is tonight. <laughs> what a pinnacle, and I'm really proud of them. They can really, they can really, you know, they've just drowned me in all the champagne that's available anyway. So, um, no, of course, but there's a, there's a, we, we're not going to start up until the first of August. This guy we're now going to, unfortunately, or fortunately, some boys are heading back in Scotland Cup on, on a Monday night already, but, uh, but, um, no, of course, you know, um, I'm really proud of the boys. And, and, uh, that they've worked so well, they deserve every minute. And you know, if you play hard, then you can work your hard, I suppose. I heard you talking to, to Ryan Wilson pre match, eh, sorry, post match earlier on. Who's in charge of the cigars and whiskies, and where did that plan come from? <laughs> yeah, I know when I started it a year ago, or well, a few years ago, there, I on the first on one morning, seven o'clock, I rolled out whiskey to everybody to give them a wee taste on what it will be to have a dram of whiskey on the back end of a, of a win. and and I said, savor that, keep that in your mind. And one day, one day, as soon as we can win something, we'll have an evening with, uh, where we can have a dram of whiskey and a cigar. And, and tonight, I think these guys needed that. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. And last one from back in Scotland, Andrew Petrie. Well, congratulations, guys. Franco, I'll start with you. Five minutes to go in that game. What were the emotions like? Obviously, you exhume quite a, a calm presence where he is camp five minutes to go? Yeah, I know. I was, um, look, if you just look from a rugby perspective, we were, we haven't given, we hardly give away a more try this whole season and uh, I knew the Bulls were not going to play out of that, even if we have a yellow card. So, we were defending, had some good defensive sets before that 
So I just felt if we stay patient and not get penalized, um, the turnover will happen. So, yeah, the way, um, so I can honestly say, and this is not to sound um, arrogant, I suppose, or in, that, that, that I was, the nerves was under control. I put it that way. I had calmness and I, I, I'm sure that I have the belief in the boys through the process. We've been talking about a process the whole year. So I backed the process and the boys were backing it and and that in the end, um, you know, brought the, the success that, or the significance of this win. And you talked after the game about building blocks. What's next for Glasgow Warriors after this? What do you want to conquer next? Yeah, look, there's, I, I still believe that there's a lot. We want to be the best version of ourselves. That is what we strive to be. You know, we don't, we don't play opposition. We play against ourselves. If you look yourself in the mirror, you must be honest and understand that you've, you've given it all once you retire. So up till they retire, they must uh, keep on giving it all. And, and that will be our challenge. You know, how many times, how often can we repeat the performance like now? Just one for Kyle. There's been something in the water at Scottsdale this season. A lot of new dads in the squad. Do you think that's played a part in making the boys a little bit more mature and maybe help to the success? Um... Oh, I don't know if it's if it's made us any more mature. I mean, the way we're sitting here now, you probably don't think we're the most mature of boys. But <laughs> um, I think I think just that you know, Glasgow is a club that that likes to connect to its community, connect to its family, and I think for so many of us, you know, to have, to finally feel you know what it feels like to have your own kids and 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 have your own family, I think that's that's certainly something that's that's brought us closer together. Um, you know, and like you know, Sione had his his baby, um, you know, very recently, and um, I think it's just being able to share in in that experience with with boys, and um, you know, all across across the squad, so many so many dads and um, a couple of moms too. I think that yeah, those experiences bring people closer together and give you a deeper sense of of why you're out there and doing what you're doing. And just finally, for me, for Matt as well, obviously, is the emotion of winning. Is there a feeling a bit of, of vindication as well? A couple of people had written you off wrongly, obviously. Have I had that? <laughs> some, not me. Some people. Um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's been a, an up and down season. I think in the last probably month or so, um, I've sort of gone back to um, what makes me a good rugby player and the basics and um, and, you know, probably we get frustrated in games at certain times and things weren't, weren't going my way personally. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think I've sort of looked at the, the wider picture and, and the team and, um, and what I can bring to that. And, um, yeah, so as I said earlier, when you're playing with your mates and people you love coming in to work with, um, it makes it all that easier. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Congrats again. Recording stopped. Uh, the URC will share the recording of the press conference.